Hello and welcome in today's episode of At Home But Not Alone, especially from my little one's playground today. Um, as I'm off today, I really thought instead of having some discussions with some suppliers or customers, um, I'll give you my feeling of what is probably a little bit positive in the whole situation that we are in. Um, and I just noted like 10 things I believe we could find out positive out of the whole happening and so here they are. I think number one, the most important part is if, if you're at home, if you're bored that you're at home, you should actually be happy because it means you're not in the hospital. So and hats off to all of the people that are on the first field trying to fight for us so that we are, we're in good shape when we get back. I think number two, very important part, is the quality time that you can spend with your family. I know I'm spending my time with the little one. Um, and instead, of, not only, you know, have doing some things in the sand or running around the garden, but I think I'm now the expert of all the Madagascars and all of Transylvania. So hopefully you guys are doing the same. Um, number three, for me, something I'm really doing for a little bit of time now um, I'm focusing more on things that I have and that I really appreciate rather than the things you know I, I want and I need to have so in few words just think and as you can see it is the reality that nothing is really for granted take it for granted and we, we should not do it um, and then we should be grateful for that and enjoy those things when we'll go back simple things like even riding a bike uh, or taking your motorcycle out for a spin or you know staying out with your friends on the grill little things that are making us happy so don't take them for granted because as you can see they're not and enjoy them and be grateful number four for me is taking care of your health especially in that situation i have a little bit more time to do it and the other reason for me here is that I'm not traveling so I'm not really eating junk food as unfortunately I'm used to so take care of your health and, and you utilize that time for that you know even half an hour a day which is not that much should be enough to keep you fit and in good shape for when we're back um, number four that was the health issue and number five is the thing I can tell you I really believe in humanity you know if you if you look around there's so many so many examples of the solidarity between people um, and even if you look at your street probably there are some people taking care of elderly or if you take it out the state is helping out or if you take it out there are companies that are helping out and there are countries that are helping out each other so I think hats off to everybody for that again and I think um, I'm still getting my belief back in humanity for being, for feeling solidarity between people and this big bond because we are all in this together and it's it's really great to see how everybody's helping everybody so that's that's really nice the, the sixth is the, the air that you breathe I read somewhere that the pollution is already 5% lower the CO2 in, in the in the air is already 5% lower than it, sh that it normally was so I think even though you know the factories are not working and a lot of unemployment is happening then this is something positive that we can take out that the quality of the air that's something that you breathe every day is already much better and this will stay for us with us for, for a while um, from the business perspective I think something that that you can definitely learn and you you would never in a different situation is that you know your company's behavior in a really tough time so it's it's really easy it's really easy to manage when everything is going okay but you can only see the strong leadership and how your company is really behaving in a tough time so i think this is ahead of us and we'll all see who are our employers that we work for so i think this this will be a valuable lesson 
and if you know everything will go well, that will even reinforce the, the connection and the company. Again, for business, uh, I think the digitalization. I think this has been forced by by the situation for the fast implementation, and I don't think it would actually happen so fast. process um, and, I, and again this will stay with us I mean many companies would not have thought about having uh, people working from homes if this would not happen and now if everything goes right they will see that this is possible and then this step will be already taken so I think this is something very positive that we can take from this horrible scenario that we're really sitting in today um, the other thing is a lot of businesses are changing the restaurant with this takeout and you know trying to sell online more so this is very positive and, and again this was something that's probably stay um, so the companies are adopting to those changes trying to survive but this lesson will also give them probably uh, a bunch of customers that they would never really thought about so I think this is this is really a good thing and last but not least I, I want to finish uh, my top 10 but again, focusing on business, then I've read something that in after the 2018 or during the 2018 recession, a lot of great startups came up, you know, like WhatsApp, Uber, on Instagram. I mean, can you imagine your life today with those three companies? Probably not so easy. So I hope and I wish that maybe maybe your company will be created and maybe your creative idea will help us to go through that and, and stay with us. It's a very So keep the positive thoughts, enjoy what you have, enjoy your family, and uh, greetings from us.